The brain care score can be used by individuals to get a handle on how they're treating their brains. The brain care score can help educate people about what small steps they can take today to start taking better care of their brain. There are many different components included in the brain care score, and so people have a choice as to which component they would like to start working on first. The brain care score consists of uh, 0 to 21 points. There are four physical components, there are five lifestyle components, and there are three social-emotional components. The brain care score has become, for us, a teaching tool, a tool to engage people in a lifelong journey. This way, this is the first step that we can actually establish relationships to implement the brain care score or any other tools for people to help care for their brains. I think it really first requires establishing trust. People need to have information that's easy to find, to understand, but most importantly, to act upon. One of the things about social determinants of health is that we can't always change where people live or what communities you know, they live in. But what we want to do is uh, change how we provide the care to those communities and to those patients. We have to make sure that our communication is not just appropriate, but it actually addresses their needs. And so one of the fundamental components of our work is employing any sort of score in language that's plain, that's simple, and it's easy to understand. Another very important lesson we learned, and that has been incorporated into the brain care score, is the notion that uh, lifestyle change and health habits only work when we want to do them, when we want to change, when we are motivated. And the best way to help people find their motivation is to meet people where they're at. In practice, it means we work through the brain care score with our patients, and then we invite our patients to decide what the first step is that they want to take. The goal is to make it all driven by the patient. In the future, we expect that there will be different versions of the brain care score. So for example, the nutritional component may look completely different from an American population compared to a Japanese population. So we have to make sure that the brain care score is culturally tailored to a specific population. What those choices are will be tailored to what each of us has access to, to the different diets that we have because of the cultures into which we're born, to the different levels of access to healthcare that we have. The Brain Care Score reflects a larger paradigm shift to how we view treating brain disease. From reactively treating brain diseases to proactively preventing brain diseases before the brain starts to deteriorate. We saw brain care as this great opportunity to help others and help future generations to live happier, healthier, more satisfying lives. Each of us has a role to play in adopting others to help them, along with ourselves, improve their brain care scores. With that realization and with the embrace of the brain care score by colleagues of mine around the world, we got together to launch what we call the Global Brain Care Coalition. Our goal with our global coalition is to begin to develop brain care scores in partnership with patients from all walks of life so that the general model of the brain care score is the same. That's how we're going to actually really get a handle on this pandemic and start to see a true measurable reduction in the number of new cases of dementia, stroke, and depression. And the implications for the next generation are enormous because just those three conditions deprive so many of us of productive lives. Thanks for watching this AAN TV feature. Now an important disclaimer. Content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.